Thanks for keeping it here on Everyday Kentucky. I'm Amber Canoy, and we're visiting the Arthritis Center of Lexington in Hamburg today. Dr. Brown, why is it so critical for people to get early intervention when it comes to arthritis? Well, particularly with rheumatoid arthritis, uh, it's quite uh, empirical to get early intervention because if we don't uh, take care of inflammation early in the joints, it can lead to lifelong damage. So we want to stop that, prevent that. Uh, we have a lot of exciting new medications that can, can do that, thankfully. What other um, tools might be utilized in early intervention? Infusion services or what, that, what, that, what would that maybe look like? Yeah, so um, we have many options. Uh, sometimes pill medications uh, is often what we start with. And then we can sometimes have to move on to injections, self-injections or injections that are given here in the office. Uh, we also have infusion services that we do here in the office uh, that sometimes occur a few times um, every year. I've been hearing throughout Kentucky there are a lot of rheumatoid you know, practices that are not accepting new patients or the wait time to actually get in is really, really long. What are you all doing here? Well, it is a, a national problem. There's a shortage of uh, rheumatologists in the country. Um, thankfully, uh, we have a great opportunity here in Lexington where we're expanding. We're uh, adding new offices, uh, new providers. So we now have offices uh, not only on Waller Avenue, our main office. Now we've expanded to Hamburg. We also have offices in uh, Georgetown and London now as well. Are the infusion services, which so many people I know in the past have driven up to Lexington to you know, participate in, are they available at those other locations? They are actually. Uh, thankfully, we've been able to expand and we're able to do both injections, infusions at uh, all of our offices now. So if somebody's watching this and they think that they might have rheumatoidologists or, or they're having joint issues in general, how do they go about getting a referral to come see you all and potentially become a new patient? Yeah, the best way is to have their uh, primary care provider, their family physician, uh, put in a consult with our practice and then we'll uh, prioritize them to, to get in as soon as possible. 